Hi, I'm Danny Butler, and this week's Trial Tube is going to be epic. This is Trial Tube. Now this week on Trial Tube, we have something very special. We have got my favourite bike of all time, very nicely loaned to us by a group of men who are real men. If you ride an RTL, it means you've qualified to be possibly the most manly man in existence. Now the RTL to me is a bike that takes me way back. This was the bike that my old man actually rode. It was the bike that I remember holding onto the handlebars as a kid. It's basically a bike that I will never be able to afford because to buy an RTL now is almost as expensive as to buy an RTL in the 80s. No. I actually have it on very good authority that to buy one of these now, you need to sell a kidney. Now the bike next to me, is a 1988 twin disc, pretty much last edition of the RTL with a factory Rothmans uh, shroud on top. Now this bike is basically the last of the RTLs. And I'm telling you now, they tried to make them modern, but one thing you can't change in an RTL is the fact that the heart of the bike, the engine, it was class when it was created and it's still class now. Now the RTL is famous for riders like Steve Saunders and most famously Eddie Lejeune who rode the entire time with those classic smoker glasses on which I'm not going to lie, I loved them. Could have had a set if I was a kid but unfortunately I wasn't into getting down the working men's club and probably wouldn't get served. No. People at the time who weren't only really stylish to watch they were also on the coolest bike, they had the coolest gear. I even had a helmet exactly like Eddie Lejeune's when I was a kid if anybody can remember that old shoey. Now the RTL has something that no other bike has. This massive rear silencer, which, well, regardless of the sound, you always knew the rear silencer belonged to an RTL. These silencers are probably almost as much as what a full bike is. If you can find one that's not dented in its original packet, probably from Japan, or supposedly mysteriously crushed in a container. No. Now aside from European royalty riding the uh, Honda RTL. We had some great riders here in the UK grace the, uh, grace the magical pegs of this bike. Riders like Malcolm Rathmel, Martin Lampkin, and last but not least, very famous for the uh, gas gas fame, John Shirt Jr. in the Scottish Six Days, which I can remember at a trial of Pork's Nest. John had that much style as he came to the top of a step. As he came round the corner, he was that low on the bike, nothing to do with the standover, but he was that low on the bike that his arse touched the floor. I don't think he got a dab though. Now there's one thing that separates an RTL from every other bike ever created. The sound. I'm Dan Clark, this is Trials Tube, and I've got a problem. Four years now, I've had an addiction. To cope with this addiction, I've had to go to many meetings on numerous weekends. It's led to me giving up anything modern. It's led to many breakdowns in relationships and emptied my bank account. But by heck, it doesn't half make me happy.
My name's Ben Butterworth and I'm an enabler. My addiction has rubbed off on my younger brother. And since then, it's just been some sort of sick game. But since then, we've never had so much fun. Now this episode isn't just about the amazing well, piece of machinery that is the RTL. It's also about the people that ride RTLs. These are hardened trials riders that have been in the sport for years and years. They've rode the modern bikes and then come to the senses and realize that there's no better bike than an RTL. Also, if you are gonna argue with me in the comments, you're gonna have to have a very good case. The best bike ever made is the Honda RTL. People have just lost their minds. Now it's not just about the machinery. We're gonna to talk to some of these people, these strange people that spend all of their money on bikes from the 80s. I wonder if there's any for sale. No. Sorry, just one second. Do you want me to introduce my name first? Hi, this is uh, my pink RTL. Uh, it's a 1987. Um, I chose the pink because my girlfriend's got a pink BMW. No. Basically, I love the Honda RTL. It's back in the day. I watched Martin Lampkin ride one up in Scotland, and it just, and Eddie Lejeune, my hero, Steve Saunders, and it just, I've just always wanted one, and the time came, so I thought I'd treat myself to one. The two things I've changed on my bike, um, I've always loved the uh, Showa forks of the Montessa 315 and I decided to put a set of them on because they work so much better than the original forks and then I just put the uh, rear mudguard a bit more flare just to make it look a bit more stylish. Apart from that, it's standard. I decided to go into the more classic bikes and these 80s bikes because I just, I just really, it puts a smile on my face every time I start the bike up and the people that ride them all seem to be just this guys and uh, we have a good time riding them. My name is Ben Butterworth and this is my 1989 Honda RTL. Well, was 1989, now 2020. So bought an RTL because I saw Clarky on one. Every time he went out on his, I felt left out. So I thought, why not get one? What riders inspired you to get an RTL? Don, other than Dan Clark. <laughs> It's had a few upgrades, bit of front end blink, Hope top yoke, 315 rainbow forks, 4RT front wheel. Lowered footrest, more like a 4RT, all in rear shock absorber, 4RT rear wheel, and a little bit of titanium bling, titanium front pipe. So fetch. What is fetch? Oh, it's like slang from England. Titanium. I'm Joe Butworth and this is my 1988 standard RTL. I'm a purist. My uncle had one a few years ago, I liked that, and then I bought one from Australia and it got nicked about five years ago. And I said one day I'll have another, and then after Ben and Dan got them, I thought I'd have to have another one. My favourite thing about the bike is the period colours. I'm big for the old school, do you like my pants? Okay, let's party.
Now we've just seen three real men riding real man's bikes. Women can buy them obviously as well, they're not a sexist thing, they come in pink. But now it's time for me to have a little try of Ben Butterworth's Pride and Joy. I've told him it's okay if I fall over, I'll fall on the ground and the RTL can fall on me. That's how I feel about this bike. Sorry. So we're going to do the same section once on the modern bike, which hopefully will go well. And then I'm going to ride the RTL, which I know is going to go really, 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 really well. I've been told, don't think, feel. Been told to be very careful on the kickstart. What does he mean? Does he mean he's going to snap or? Oh god! Oh my god! I can feel the testosterone. Danny Butler's first ride on the bike that basically he couldn't love any more than his own child. No. So first thoughts, it's absolutely awesome and everything that a kid could want. Now in every bike review, I try the bike in first and second gear. Now, on first gear and first impressions, obviously Ben's done some work on this. This is almost like the 2020 RTL. And honestly, every change to this bike has modernized it, but at the same time, kept everything that's great about an RTL, especially this sound. And I was told on good authority, just rev it, don't be scared of it. And honestly, I'm not scared of it. I'm erect. Not only has it got all of its heritage attached to it, it's also possibly the most usable 80s bike I've ever ridden in my life. But you can't let it get away from you because, well, it's finding grip in places where there isn't any. I'm not going to lie, I wouldn't have appreciated this bike when I was 14. I wouldn't have been able to move it. But you do have to hold on to it, but it's so planted, it almost does it for you. It just stands there. On its own. Completely. It's insane. The gears are so long, but remember she's an 80s girl and still the gearbox is like, well what can I say, like something off a battleship. So second, round the corner and up the step. Thank you for watching Trial Tube. Once again, we'd like to thank all the boys that have bought their amazing RTLs along today. Big shout out to uh, Jack Butterworth, Ben Butterworth, and Dan Clark. We've all been here today, but singularly, and we've been very distanced. And when I say distance, I mean they're somewhere over there being RTL owners, and I'm over here in the poor people section.
Once again, please remember to like, share and subscribe. It's really important to support my channel. The more that, uh, well, the more that you watch, the more I'll be inclined to make them. This episode will probably take me somewhere between 20 to 30 years. Once again, after the last few videos, we've uh, smashed all of our analytics, smashed our targets. So that's amazing. More and more people are getting involved with trials and I'm just happy to keep promoting trials at it's hopefully its purest form. If you're in trials and you're enjoying it, then thanks very much. Smash the like, the like button and uh, turn the notifications bell on. But for the meantime, I'm going to go away and start saving really hard. Or I might just ride this RTL away and they'll never catch me if I can start it. Here we go. Last one. Come on. No. Nope. Oh, the peg. It has to go up. No, it doesn't. I can't do it. It's mine. It doesn't matter.